Good morning, everybody. This is Damon Bond, Bond Ruthie Group, LLC, uh, based in Bridgeport, Connecticut, uh, licensed real estate broker in Connecticut, licensed uh, real estate salesperson in New York. I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so today we're going to continue our series about the steps from buying a home, but don't worry, a few of you emailed me and asked me will I do anything for sellers, and absolutely I will, I will do something for sellers. Uh, I just want to do the uh, buyer's portion first, and I'm going to get to the sellers, all right? Um, and if you're selling in the uh, in the New York, Connecticut area, please give me a call uh, or email me, rather. Email me is much better. Um, uh, dbond011 at gmail.com, dbond011 at gmail.com, or you contact me via Facebook. All right. So uh, basically, we talked about um, the real estate contract, what that entails. Uh, we discussed um, uh, the down payment already and such. So the next item of business is... Uh, and I said this before, but I didn't really want to go into it because it requires another a special segment into itself, and that is the whole process of the home inspection. All right, the home inspection is kind of like uh, it's kind of like a physical for a house, uh, unless you know the vitality, uh, how long it's been around, uh, any problems going on with the house, uh, what can you do to correct anything, anything that's happening within uh, the house or the property rather. Uh, so that's what a home inspection is for. And uh, the home inspection really can uh, literally make or break a deal. So uh, after you, uh, you, 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 your offer's approved already, or, you know, be, between you and the sellers, so you agree, so you and the sellers agreed upon a, uh, a price, uh, you know, it's no problem, everything's signed, the contracts went to the attorney, what have you. So the next step is the home inspection. Usually the home inspection takes place, um, it could be, generally speaking, no more than two weeks after the offer is accepted. Usually that's the standard. Uh, it could be longer, but you know, under a set of circumstances, it could be longer. But usually, that's that's the going that's the going thing. Uh, usually, most cases, it's two it's two weeks, uh, no more than two weeks after the uh, initial um, acceptance of the offer. So, some of you are asking, how does one go about choosing a home inspector? Uh, well, your realtor should know this. Uh, your realtor should know, you know, should have. You know, a, a plethora of people that you know, at least two or three people they can recommend to you, uh, hands down. If they've been if they've been in the business for a while, um, you may want to ask people who bought homes, all right, who they use for home inspection. Uh, so there's there's a lot of people out there. Uh, all of them are licensed by their respective states, whether it's New York or Connecticut or your state, wherever you may be, whether it's California or Montana or Michigan, wherever it may be. So, in any case, um, when choosing a home inspector, uh, there's certain there's a couple uh, variables you look for. The first thing is some inspectors are both uh, home inspectors and termite inspectors, so they could do both simultaneously. Uh, I work with a gentleman who was only a home inspector, and usually he would outsource a termite to somebody else. Uh, that's the first thing. So yeah, uh, another thing is sometimes people will not uh, home inspectors will not do a house if it's a certain age. Like for example, I remember I had a property um, and the house was built in the 1700s. Um, he didn't do that because he said, yeah, I only do a house that's built in the 1900s, and that's fine. You know, so that you know that's the area of expertise. So, so you want to consider that as well. Now, how much does a home inspection cost? It depends. It usually depends on the size of the property and the property type. If you're dealing with a thousand square foot condo, um, it may be two hundred fifty dollars. You know, um, if you're dealing with a multifamily property, that's let's say two to three families, even four, it could be upward to five hundred dollars or more. So it all depends. So generally speaking, you can expect to pay anywhere between three and five hundred dollars for a complete home inspection. So how long does an inspection take place? Uh, if the inspector is very thorough, and I've been to some very thorough inspections, it's going to be, if it's, a, if it's a regular single family house, let's say three bedrooms, one and a half bathroom, typical one family house, you know, uh, basement, attic, without that, it can take anywhere, it's probably a good hour, hour and a half, I would say, for a thorough inspection. I've been in inspections where it's been longer. I've been in inspections where the house is enormous, uh, it's two houses on one property, um, you know, it's uh, it, it's over an acre of land. It had an septic system. Um, so I've been to some very expensive home inspections, and I've been to some home inspections that last a long time. So any, expect anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours. Could be longer, could be less. It depends. All right? So that's how long you expect to be in a home inspection. Now, who is present at a home inspection? Well, obviously you, the buyer, because you're the one who's paying for it. 
this was this is one of those costs you have to pay directly to the home inspector. Uh, your real estate uh, uh, salesperson should be there as well uh, for obvious reasons, um, and of course the home inspector will be there as well. Um, and nobody, I mean, sometimes you have the selling agent that will come over to see how things are going, but really that's who's at this home inspection: you, the home inspector. And the agent. So the buyer, the agent, and the home inspector. Uh, those are the individuals present at a, at a home inspection. So uh, so typically what happens during a home inspection, I'm just saying from my point of view, usually I just stay out the way. I let them do what they got to do. I open it up for them. I let them do what they have to do. They go around. They mill around. Uh, buyers usually typically will follow them around. And a home inspector will let you know any red flags. They'll say, hey, you know, this outlet is not working properly or there's not up the code or, um, you know, they, they do that. They do a complete interior of the house. So the compartments, they look at the mechanics and everything like that. And they do the exterior of the house. They'll look at a roof. They'll look at siding, any cracks in the driveway, things like that. Uh, sometimes they won't cover certain things if it's not a part of the house. Uh, sometimes above, above ground pools may vary, you know, depending. But generally speaking, that's what they cover. They cover those areas. Now, me as an agent, what I do is or I'm sitting there and I'm only I usually pay attention to red flags because this is between the client, your client. And the home inspector, um, you're just there because obviously you're the agent. And so if there's any kind of defects that you want remedy, obviously you will communicate that with the seller's agent. So I let them do their thing. If there is a problem, the home inspector will call with me over and say, Damon, come here, look at this. And, you know, yeah, make a note of this, or what have you. And that's what I do. Um, so they're there to explain everything. I'm usually silent because this that's not my forte. My forte is, you know, real estate. Their forte is home inspections. So I just kind of, you know, just be quiet while I'm at the home inspection. So typically, uh, that's that's what happens. That's what takes place during the home inspection. Now, uh, should there be any areas that can make a deal? Sure. Uh, structural problems can, can break a deal. Absolutely. Um, you know, any major flaws in foundation can make can break a deal. Absolutely. Um, let's say there was a problem with, uh, you know, the water sewer system can be a problem. So all these things can be a problem. Now, no house is perfect. Even if it was built last year, I don't care. It's not perfect. No house is perfect. So there's some things that you could live with, right, that don't have to be addressed right now after you purchase the home. They could be addressed later on. Um, and there are other things which probably need your immediate attention. Uh, so, for example, a roof. If the inspector says, okay, you need a roof, like, now ASAP. You may want to have your agent say, hey, listen, I want a credit for the roof, okay? So, you know, you find out how much roof is. Roof could be, you know, anywhere from uh, $6,000 to $10,000. Say either, you know, give me credit towards the closing costs, either all of it or half of it, but that's what I want done. I did it several times before. Um, or they say, okay, the roof can last another three years. So fine. You have another three years of life on the roof. So that's something, you know, you don't have to do right away. But you want to do that as a summer project, maybe like next summer, this will give you a chance to save some money, put some money together, and you can pursue that during the summertime or the latest, the summer after that. All right. So that means no vacation, you know, to the Caribbean. You have to postpone that. Um, so those are some so those are some items you want to look for uh, with, with regards to that. Uh, so there's some minute items. Let's say there's not a wall plate, you know, for a socket. You know, that's minute. You know, they sell wall plates at Home Depot for you know less than a dollar. You you get that and put that on yourself. That's not a problem. So there there are things that are major issues and things that are minor issues. So you don't focus on the major thing. The minor issues, like I said, no house is perfect. You know, that's fine. So what typically what happens is after the inspection, uh, they'll give you a preliminary report. We'll give you a summary, uh, just in case you have to tell the agent anything. Uh, the, the buyer's agent has to tell the seller's agent. And then usually you get a full report mailed. Let's say in a week or so, they'll mail you the full report. Um, you typically, at this point, juncture in a deal, right? Usually have five days after inspection is completed, usually in most cases. And either you can um, say, okay, the inspection was fine, not a problem, and you move on with the deal. You can say, hold well, on, we got some issues here. I like the house. Um, but there were some issues here. You know, we want we you know we want a roof replaced, or we want credit for the roof, or half credit, or something like that. Okay, that's to be done. We want X, Y, and Z done. Uh, take care of it, and we can move forward with the deal. And then you and them could negotiate whatever it is, or you can say, listen, man, this is too much work for me. It needs a new foundation. Uh, the place is a sinkhole. Um, they got some problems here. Uh, it's going to cost me fifty thousand dollars. I don't want to deal with this, so I want to pull out. And yes, you can withdraw from the deal. 
and you will get your deposit back, uh, minus any other costs you paid for. Like, you're not going to get the money from the inspection back. That's just the way it is. Um, so you'll get, you'll get your deposit money back. You'll get your, you know, whatever, your 1% you put down already, you'll get that back. That's not a problem. Uh, so typically, these are, these are the things that occur and take place. Um, yeah, so... You, you know, uh, I recommend everybody get a home inspection. They're important. Uh, even if you're a contractor, you never know how the house is. Uh, the house gives you, you know, because basically when you fill out, and this is what I'm going to talk about later on, on the forms you're going to fill out, right, in addition to your contract form, you're going to fill out lead paint form, right? Uh, that's here in Connecticut, um, in New York, and lead paint basically says, yes, um, you know, this prop, we have no knowledge of lead paint or... Uh, there's lead paint here, and here's where it is, and here's how you're going to remedi re remediate it. Ooh, complicated word there, remediate, meaning take care of it. Uh, if the house, if the property was built after 1978, uh, is a lead paint waiver because after 1978, they stopped using lead and paint. So only properties built before 78, you need a, um, the lead paint disclosure. Typically, there's a mold disclosure um, saying, you know, there, there is either pre you, there is a known presence of mold or there is not a known presence of mold. That's as well. And then you have what we call the property disclosure. Property disclosure basically is filled out by the seller, and it kind of gives you a quick summary of the property. Now, property condition reports are not accurate. Uh, only an inspection can deem it accurate. So they may ask how old the roof, roof is. The people may have honestly forgot when the last time they put on the roof. And, you know, that's fine. They're not trying to lie necessarily. They just don't know. So that's why we do home inspections is just to verify and make sure that, you know, everything's is up to speed, uh, so to speak. Um, so that's why they're 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 important. Uh, here in the state of Connecticut, um, the only time you're not required to have a property disclosure is if the property is what we call a bank-owned property or what we known as a REO. Bank-owned properties or REOs don't have um, property disclosures, but um, you're entitled to a three hundred dollar credit at closing if. The house is a regular sale, and there's no property disclosure. Uh, so that's with that. So like I said before, the, these things um, coincide with inspection. So it's important um, to do. You might want to do some research on that. Um, it can be a scary thing, but in the end, it's better to know what you're walking into as opposed to buying it and having regrets later on. Um, just so you can be uh, uh, head of the uh, head of the game, so to speak, in terms of in terms of your housing. So pretty much that's it in terms of home inspection. So it's important. Uh, if you want to know what other forms or any other thing, just email me at dbon 11 at gmail.com, or you could you know Facebook as well. Contact me that way. I'll be happy to answer any and all questions. Um, so this is Damon Bond, Bond Realty Group LLC, licensed in New York and. Connecticut. Be well and have a wonderful day. Good day, peoples.